One of my pet hates in life is small talk, but unfortunately it's something we all have to go through. And inevitably the question will come up, what is your job or what do you do? And obviously I will tell people that I'm a marine biologist. And actually quite surprisingly, the majority of the time people will respond by saying, oh that's so cool, I wanted to do that when I was growing up. And it's kind of one of those answers that children give when you ask them what they want to be when they grow up one day. I grew up I want to be an underwater scientist. But a lot of the time people don't go on to becoming a marine biologist so they don't really know what a marine biologist is and most of the time people will ask me okay so what does a marine biologist actually do? And I find this question really difficult to answer actually. I mean obviously marine biology at its core is about the study of the ocean and its inhabitants but the ocean is really really big and there are a huge number of things in the ocean so as a marine biologist there are a huge number of things you could do most of the time a marine biologist will be somebody who goes out into the field you'll go out on a boat or you go will go out and snorkel and dive and look at the animals or plants that you're studying or actually collect samples but then also you might get people who are lab specialists and these will be marine biologists who will work on genetic samples or cellular samples and look at things on a microbiology scale and sort of never venture out into the ocean. Also you could have somebody who loves working behind computers, a statistician, and this will be somebody who just sort of gets a data set, analyzes the data, maybe does a fishery stock assessment, etc. And all of these things are really really important in the overall field of marine biology and people will always find a niche that they fit into. And as a marine biologist, you could work for a university, you could work for the government, for a non-profit organization, for a private research organization. Some of your tasks might include being a lecturer, being a researcher, being a volunteer coordinator, having to communicate your science to other scientists, but also to the public. And so for me personally, well, over the past two years, I've worked in the field, I have worked in the lab, I have volunteered at schools communicating fun facts about sharks, I have spent most of the time behind my computer, but every marine biologist does something different. So that's why for today, I have recruited the help of other marine biologists to shed some light on what they do and answer the question of what does a marine biologist actually do. I run my own company called Afriponics SA. Um, we are an aquaponics company and that means that we grow fish and vegetables together in the same system. The day to day job is uh, first of all maintaining the system and making sure that the plants and fish are happy and also designing new systems and mentoring the ones that we have uh, in order to expand the business even more. I'm working for myself. I'm the founder of the Elmo South African Elasmobrank Monitoring Project that includes a number of tasks. So marketing is one of them. It's making the project known to ensure its success. It is also to store and analyze the data to also distribute it to other scientists. And most importantly, it is to communicate the results of this project to, to the public. So I'm very passionate about environmental education. I'm a third year PhD student at Yale University and I study the genetics of a popular sport marine fish called the giant trevally. And by looking at its DNA, I'm able to look at the health of the population and look how different individuals are related to each other and relate that information to environmental conditions. And the purpose of this is to help sport fishermen and governments and commercial fishermen that harvest this species know more information about it and to be able to better manage it in the future to ensure its sustainability. I'm the Orca Foundation researcher and we deal with international volunteers coming in to where we're based here in Kettenberg Bay and I run the research projects. So at the moment I'm here on Robert Beach which is just fantastic and we're about to do a survey for Elasmobrank egg cases, so Elasmobranks, sharks, skates and rays. Um, and that's one aspect of what I do here, but unfortunately, as much as I love being out in the field, that's a very small portion of my job and what I do. A lot of it gets spent behind the desk and analyzing results, dealing with data, um, doing further research, writing up project proposals, but um, yeah, I love it. A marine biologist can take on a number of different roles, and one of those roles is education and outreach. So the new marine scientist of the 21st century is expected to um, engage with the public, 
produce peer review publications, conduct really great research projects, um, and attend conferences, and just generally engage with the global community. Um, a lot of our time, however, is spent working behind the desk and crunching numbers, writing grant proposals, conceptualizing new research ideas. So it's kind of challenging. You know, you you have this glorified idea of what a marine scientist will be like when you're growing up and you're three or four years old and you decide you want to pursue a career in shark science. And you think you'll spend all your time working in the field with sharks, hands on, and when the realities are actually quite different to that. So I hope you all enjoyed that and learned a bit about the behind the scenes of a marine biologist. If you know of anybody who wants to become a marine biologist who has any questions, please share this video with them. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or tweet me and I will try and answer them. Please like my video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And until next time, I hope you all have a happy day.